It's the start to another week and things are a little bit chilly this morning. It's about 24 degrees out here today. It's looking kind of like winter out here. Got some snow up on the ridge there still, but the rest of the flat grounds, the ground was pretty dry out here, so everything kind of melted off. There's a little bit here and there though. However, we are going to try and go get some of the neighbor's cows back in. the neighbor's uh, cows got out here. We just got to get them from here over to the other side of the coulee somehow. We'll see how this works out. deer over there as well too. Wasn't planning on that. And my hands are also freezing. I see uh, why a lot of guys around here have closed cab um, kind of UTVs for all their cow work. Kind of got them to the right area. I just don't know where they actually got out on the fence line here. So it uh, could be kind of anywhere along here. So that's kind of fun. At least it's starting to warm up a little bit more. See you later, guys. Please stay in your area now. Thank you. I appreciate it. That was kind of a cold, muddy little ride down to the river here. Always tons of fun coming down to the river when it's muddy. Only thing that can actually get out of here when it's really muddy is the four-wheeler. So, And it's also, yeah, 25 degrees out this morning, too, so it's a little chilly. But we're not getting any power at all to our little pump house here, so... uh Gonna call up Northwestern Energy and hopefully we get a little juice back here soon so we can get some water flowing back up to everyone again. And after lunch, and we're just getting a little more heat in the shop here before we head back down to the river again. We've got a couple more things we need to get drained down on the river there. So I'm gonna mud on down there again and get all that stuff done. Start to another day and the uh, Dodge doesn't like the cold weather. We just kind of died going down the road here, so that's fun. Another morning moving these guys. There's a bunch down in the cottonwood there too, but these ones kind of want to go around the coulee, so we'll just kind of slowly push them that way. Hopefully get them back in their pasture, and then their owner's gonna actually move them out to a different place here today, which will be nice. Most of 
them all going the right way now. We still got to go quite a bit that way, but at least they're in the right pasture now. About 6.30, but we got the neighbor's cows all rounded up, taken back to his place, got our two steers sorted out and brought back home because our steers ended up jumping the fence right down there once uh, all the neighbor's cows ended up in our yard. So I did actually just go fix some fence down there too, but say a big day of uh, all kinds of cow work, but we are finally finished. Another chilly Montana morning here. We got one project going here, and we also loaded up Tiny Horse, so he's going to be heading back to his new home today. But what we're doing here is I just took an empty shuttle. If you guys don't remember the foliar blend, this is kind of like the multivitamin type thing that we put on our crops. It's supposed to help it out a little bit. But I got this empty shuttle. I just kind of rinsed it out quick, and we're actually going to be taking this guy down to the river. Our little setup should work here. So what we're going to do is just take the shuttle, flip it over the top. That way it's kind of covering all this over the winter. But I do have to kind of drain this thing again, get it all winterized. I might use it one more time just to kind of clean those rocks out, but we'll see what happens. Intake tube popped off the turbo on the Ford here. We're actually on the way up to Grandpa's. But good thing it's the service pickup, so we got tools to fix this thing. So today we're going to be draining the actual underground pipe for the pivots. So this is kind of the low spot between both pivots. So we just opened that valve and it's all just gravity blowing out right now. But then once we get that all really low, we actually got a pump and a bunch of hoses. That way we can pump these things out. That's what this big tube's for, is uh, you actually put it down in that thing. That way you can get all the water sucked out. Some of these connections we gotta get off to pump out are a little bit rusty, so that's why we always like to have like a seven foot breaker bar with us here. You know, that way you can just kind of get these things off. So this is kind of what our pumping setup looks like here. We got this drop tube shoved way down in there as far as we can. Then we've got our suction pump here. So it's gonna suck the water out of there and then just kind of blow it out that way a little bit. Also, I had to bring some water with me. That way we could actually prime the pump itself Otherwise, it won't actually suck any water. Well, I gotta kinda awkwardly hold this thing between my legs here or else it's a little too steep for the hose. But we are getting some of that water moved out, so that's good. So our drain between the two pivots has been running for about four hours now. There's still a little bit of water coming out of there and we have got a large uh, lake out here now. Lots and lots of water. Another beautiful Montana morning. It did get a little chilly last night, though. I didn't think it was supposed to freeze last night. It only set a low of 32, but when I woke up this morning, it said uh, 28. And you can see some of our little puddles there kind of froze over. So what we're doing right now is we're just pumping out all the little low spots along the pipe, and we're just gonna kind of keep working our way all the way down to the river there. That way we get all the water out of there, so when it gets down to like negative 30 or however cold it gets this winter, our main big like one uh, foot pipes don't actually freeze. There is quite a bit of water just in some of the little tiny low spots in these pipes. Kind of flushed it all the way out into the neighbor's field there. We're getting a little bit closer to the river there. And our little culvert's actually working. It's just a little tiny pipe's all we got for a culvert here. But it's just kind of pouring right out of here, doing a pretty good job, not soaking the road or anything. And actually, kind of funny, along with our little tiny culvert there, I think we've got a gopher hole that we uh, kind of filled up down there, and it must go across there, because that water isn't just coming out of that culvert, it's also kind of coming out of that little side hill there. So yeah, it must be a little gopher hole right there. Absolutely gorgeous down on the river bottom here. Just finishing up our two main pipes here. We just got them all pumped out. So now we're done here and we just have one more spot left to pump. It only took a few hours, but we got all the water drained out now and kind of to end just on a perfect Montana sunset there. 